I became a prosecutor because I wanted to engage in public service. I feel very blessed to have grown up here in Summit County from kindergarten through law school. I became an attorney and a way to give back would be through public service. Uh, being an attorney and doing public service, the prosecutor's office is an ideal fit and it gave me an opportunity to be a voice uh, for my neighbors, my community, and um, I never regret it. I, I've always wanted to be an attorney because I wanted to be an advocate or a voice for those who I felt didn't have a voice. So the attorney was natural and then when I became an attorney, where my career would go, I think that kind of logically flowed to the prosecutor's office as well. I think the best part of the, about being a prosecutor is you do get to be an advocate uh, for, for your community, for those who don't have a voice. You really do stand up and argue uh, for what's right and what's just. So that it gives, it gives you a platform, and in that platform you get to do good. The most difficult part about being a prosecutor is you believe in what you're advocating, You've done everything that you possibly could to get the result or conclusion you want and it doesn't happen. And then you have to look somebody in the eyes and let them know that the result didn't occur um, through no fault of your own, no fault of, of their own. But I think that's really hard. Um, it would be hard in any situation, but being as, as a prosecutor where people look to you as a pinnacle and then having to tell them we did not succeed on this day at this time. I think of two cases, very different cases, and they both have had an impact upon me that I'll, I'll never forget. So uh, one of them was uh, a paternity case when I was a prosecutor in the Child Support Division. Uh, the defendant was a pilot who had extraordinary resources. He uh, would get ready for a trial and then fire his attorney and the case was was ongoing forever. Um, but the uh, plaintiff, the mom, s stood her ground, continued to persist and we were able to prevail. It was ironic because we had multiple genetic tests. The genetic tests showed that the probability of paternity was 99.99999%. Basically one in a billion it was somebody else. We still had a multiple day trial, uh, we still had multiple appeals, but I admired her persistence. It wasn't anything that I had magically done, but she, she uh, always hung in there and always believed that what, what would uh, come out and prevail would prevail. She was confident in that and, and I admired that confidence. And then the second case, markedly different circumstances was uh, it was a murder case a few years ago. The, I had filed a motion to have uh, the daughter be allowed to testify with Avery, our facility dog. The uh, daughter had found her mom basically decapitated um, by her mom's former partner. And the court granted that motion to allow her to testify with Avery as a facility dog. But on the day that it was her turn to testify, she said, I want to go up there without Avery. I want to go up there on my own. And I thought, what courage. She was 12 years old, and she, that, that made a mark on me. Once again, it was nothing that I did, but just to see the courage and the human spirit kind of prevail. Now, we were able to get a conviction on all counts. Um, I can't say that it was justice, but it was a, it was a conclusion for her, um, because I don't think there will be ever any justice uh, having a parent taken away from a child. But in that situation, I'll never forget her words that day. I think that one that I hear a lot in the community and the misconception is that somehow the prosecutor, the law enforcement officer, and the judge are all in collusion to have an outcome to a, a case or a situation. Um, I think it's really important for the public to realize that the prosecutor is independent of the law enforcement agency and they're both independent of the judge, each independent of each other. I think that gains confidence in the system when everyone realizes all of their responsibilities are great, but they need to effectively do those independently of each other. And I think that's a misconception is that you know the system is basically stacked against somebody 
but in reality there are checks and balances within the system as long as everyone does their job.